Hi, this is David. Today we're going to talk about the Microsoft Document Intelligence Studio custom classification model. Now you may recall that I actually did a video on the Document Intelligence Studio not too long ago. It is episode number 176. And in this case, I talked about the custom extraction model. Now I'm going to talk about the custom classification model. So if you watch this video, and I, I encourage you to do so, it's only about 15 minutes long, then we saw that there were uh, a few documents, but they all looked the same. They all had the same layout. And the text inside of them might be the same, but things like the, the, the company name and the company address were all in the same place. Well, that's fine, but sometimes you may have multiple different types of model, different different or different types of forms. You know, maybe one is an invoice, maybe one is a, an order form, maybe one is uh, a, a agenda, maybe it's maybe there are two different types of invoices from different companies. And before you start analyzing and pulling extracting data out of them, you want to be able to classify them. Say, okay, this this particular document belongs to this category. So I know that the cost company name is, you know, an inch from the top and a uh, two inches from the right. Whereas this one, it's a different type of invoice and the company name is down close to the bottom of the menu. And, and that make it a lot easier to extract data from that. So before I use this extraction model, I want to use the classification model. All right, so step number one is I want to navigate to document intelligence dot AI dot Azure dot com. And that redirects to the slash studio subfolder. And there are a bunch of built in things in here. But what I'm interested in is this custom classification model. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to create a new project. And I'll call this one GCAST CUST class. I can add a description if I want to. It's not required, so I'll skip it. And then I want to tell it uh, what I'm going to need is an uh, Azure AI service, which is originally called a uh, uh, cognitive services. So I need to select that. So the way I do that is I select a subscription. I select a resource group or I create a resource group. That's what I'll do. I'll create a brand new one. I'm going to call it GCAST CUS class RG. OK, I'm going to create a uh, oh, a new AI service. I'll call it GCAST CUST class about uh, AIS for AI service. I'll put it in East US. I'll use the standard pricing tier. Uh, just the default API version is fine. And then I also need to have somewhere to store the documents. And so I have to pick an Azure blob storage account. It's a storage account with some blob storage in it. So once again, I'll select the subscription, I'll use the same resource group right there. And I'm going to create a brand new storage account. If I had one, I could clear that and just select it, but I don't have one. So I'm going to create one. I'll call it GCAST CUST class STOR. Now, storage accounts for some reason require that all of the characters are lowercase. I'll put this one also in East US. Pricing tier with that, I'll just take the cheapest one here. And the blob container name, I'll call this the GCAST container. And if I want to, I can put a specific folder within that container, but I think I'll just put it everything in the root folder of that container. And I'll click, click Create Project. It's going to go off and it's going to create that um, AI service. It's going to create a storage account. And it's also going to create this custom classification service as well. This might take about a minute or so. So I'll pause the video here and I'll come back when it's finished. We are back. That took about 55 seconds, most of which was spent creating the storage account. Um, and here, right here, it's showing all the files that are in that storage account. They're in the container that I specified here. And here's where I can label the data. I can identify, give it some sample documents and identify what category, what type of document it is. So we can classify them later. Uh, if you wanted to, you could do this. You could you can drag and drop documents into here, or you could just drag them directly into the Azure storage, blob storage, if you want to as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these documents, 
here and drop them into here. I'll sort them by file name ascending. You see that they have names here like agenda dash one, agenda dash two, agenda dash three, et cetera. There's five of those, invoice dash one, invoice dash two, invoice dash three. And you'll see a preview of each of those. You can see that all of the agendas, they look kind of the same. There's different text in them, but they all have information up here in the, this corner. They all have this table here. So they all have the same layout. Same thing with invoice. Invoices all look the same. They, they vary by some of the text within them. In fact, these are the same invoices that I used in the last video. And then the memo, this is actually uh, some text to, to, from, a CC, et cetera. And even though the text, the twos, the information that's in here is different, the layout is the same. There's always this, the message is in the same spot, the two is in the same spot, and so on. So we want to categorize. We want to be able to build, build a system that says, given a memo or an agenda or an invoice, Look at that and tell us what is it. Is it an agenda? Is it a memo? Or is it an invoice? That's the whole goal behind that. So these are called document types. Agenda, memo, invoices are examples of document types. And so I'm gonna I can create a type here. I'll just say add a type. I'll call it agenda right here, and I can add more types as well. Um, and then I'll go over here and I will select for each of these five agenda documents. I'll identify those as type agenda. I can add another type here for invoices, but I can also add it here as well. If I type in, click on invoice one, and I say invoice and click create a new document type and assign a label to it, that actually saves me a step. You see it created over here, and it also assigned that to us. So these five were assigned to agenda, this one is assigned to invoice, and I need at least five, so I'm gonna do this, assign these five documents to the invoice data type right here. Okay. Um, and then I want to create another document type. I'm going to call it memo. And I'll assign it to these five documents here. And now I have it. I've got uh, it, the check mark indicates I got I have at least five documents so I can train this st recognize these different types of documents, these categories of documents. I'll click on train right here. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it GCAST CUST class model. How about here? I don't really need a description. Um, I'll check this checkbox and I'll click the train button right here. And this sometimes takes a while, sometimes takes about a minute. It really depends upon how many documents you're training. That didn't take long, only a few seconds to kick off the training. So I'm going to click on this and say go to models. It says here that it's not started. That's actually probably not true. This doesn't auto refresh. I'm going to have to click this button here and say refresh. And now it's done. So it would say not started and then running and then succeeded. Now it's done. It has trained this model. So the next step I want to do is to test this model. Just make sure that it class it it it, it, it did the classification correctly. That given a document, would it recognize which type it is. And I can do that through this test tab right here. So let me go back to my list of documents here and I'll just grab one of these. I'll say, uh, I'll drag in, I'll just randomly pick this agenda dash three and click on run analysis and tell it, did it categorize the collection correctly? And it did, it recognizes that this is of type agenda I'll grab a couple more. I'll grab an invoice three and memo five, those two. Drop them in here. And let me look at the invoice and run the analysis on that. And it recognized that it is of type invoice. I'll click on this memo right here and run the analysis of that. And here it is. So it's trained the model to successfully recognize the difference between a document of type invoice, of type memo, and of type agenda. You can add your own documents to it and train it on that. Um, there's also an API that you can use in your applications to do this categorization. And 
the, the, the process would be I would first put documents into blob storage, then I would run the image classification to determine what type of document, and based on the type of document, then I would run the custom extraction model for that specific type of document, which you can do from learn from watching this video. In this video, I've shown you how to use the Document Int Intelligence Studio to run the custom classification model on your documents. This is David. Thank you for watching.